Hello there everybody and welcome back to Train Sim World 2. Today we are on Clinchfield Railroad. I'll stop doing that because I know you don't like it. Uh, today we're on Clinchfield Railroad for the first scenario and we're here with a amazing, I mean just look at this, Santa Fe livery. Uh, I don't think it needs much talking about. It's just bloody amazing. So let's jump straight in. So we need to you to forwards, you series parallel shunt. We got four light locos today, and we got nine miles to go. Uh, control all you on number light, class light on, independent brakes off. Then we need to move the ro rotor valve to let's say passenger because we're operating light. One best brake performance. Um, so, yes, today we got four light locos. You've got two A units and two B units. The A units have the livery applied to them and the B units don't because it's only a livery for the A units. Uh, so you've got Clinchfield units for the Bs. I do like a B unit, a good B unit. It's very nice. You don't see them very often but they are very nice. I wonder if you can turn the tail light on at the back. That's something I can do. Don't think it is. Hmm. Is there a tail light button anywhere? These should be able to swing, I think. They should be able to swing. Sander. Alright. Doesn't do much. It's Oh god, can we go a bit faster, mate? Maybe you touch faster. And uh, we've also got a signal at danger here. Tag signal at proceed at restricted speed. There we go. Now we've got the shunt aspect going. So yes, we're starting at Dante storage and we're going all the way down to here. Well, not Dante, um, Dante storage. We're going stopping at uh, starting at, I've forgotten what this place is, um, Blue Bell, I don't know, completely forgotten. That's just a red post on the ground, is it? I don't see how that works. Come on, let's go, a bit of the speed. Don't know what the difference between front and rear horn is, doesn't make much difference, but whatever. Let's keep the revs up, and, uh, if you do enjoy the video, make sure you like and subscribe. So, so close to 600 subscribers. It's not funny how close we are. So yeah, if you do want to support the channel, make sure you uh, do the liking and the subscribing. Seems like an advanced wiper knob. Hey. Oh, we can go up to 30. Not wasting any time. Look at that! Oh, spot the so elegant these things. Love it, absolutely love it. Oh, and there goes our power. Uh, let's get the the uh, gauge lights on. See the amps rising there again. Okay, let's keep going on a bit of throttle because we're going uphill now. There is a 25 limit coming up. Yay. Hope somewhere down this can get a little bit faster. I hope. Um, and yeah, this is a, uh, a uh, custom scenario, so... Uh, there won't be any other AI services around. Not that there would have been if it wasn't a timetabled scenario. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, off the brakes there. Let's go touch more touch more whack. Surprise this junction so plain. It's so boring. It's the first signal yeah, no more signals for more than two miles. Oh I just I just love this locomotive. It's it's so pretty. And it, it, a lot of Australian locomotives are similar to this. They're 
not hood units. There are uh, what are they called? Um, bulldogs. I think they're called bulldog units because of their front. But they are just such pretty machines. Let's grab a screenshot. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. And they're so big as well. I mean, they really are massive things. Can't go down here. It is a shame. What's this? No? That's probably a toilet or something. Oh, danger, 600 volts, 600 volts. You can't actually leave this cab. <coughs> oh god. Yeah, you can't actually leave here. Engine start, engine start. It would be nice if they modelled this area. Cab door. I'm not going down there. Sit in engineer's seat. Oh dear. We do be speeding. What a shame. I'm thinking maybe... Is that a tunnel? No, oh, it's a dead straight piece of track. I'm thinking maybe we go and floor it. I know it's very unprofessional, but you know, why, why not? I mean, this is just such a... It, it, they are pretty powerful locos. They should be able to. I wonder if they're these units. Oh, they are producing power. Doesn't look like they are. They're not chucking out smoke like the top unit is. There's no exhaust. But whatever. Whatever, whatever. There's a sun glare. It's very nice. Lovely muddling. Oh, look at that speed go climbing. It's not actually that fast, but whatever. Do we have a parking brake? No, we don't. There's 45 miles an hour. Wow, so fast. It's faster than 25, isn't it? Now we're flying, hey. 55. Wow. I mean, it doesn't even. I mean, I remember on the um, on the stream streams every Saturday at the. 10 a.m. BST. Let's tune in next time if you missed out. Um, we got a uh, a 314 up to 113 miles an hour. Yeah, as everyone was putting in chat. Oh, I got a I got the 314 up to uh, 85 miles an hour. Screw it, let's floor this. And if you go from Nilston to Glasgow, on the first bit is really down is steep downhill, so you can get up to very high speeds up there. Mind you, we are bouncing around quite a bit. Look at that, yeah. Problems occur from bouncing. It's probably hunting oscillation, actually. Yeah. These things weren't built for high speeds. They can go at high speeds, but they're not built for high speeds. Like, the speedo only goes to 75. But there's no hard limit. I mean, some trains nowadays have a hard limiter. Whoa! Oh, oh, bugger! Ah, oh, came off the tracks. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's uh, let's go and stick it on a uh, a dead straight line and see how fast we can get it to you. I'll see you back and I shall join you on a uh, uh, Colnarken. All right, we are here on the island line. I said Colnarken. I lied. We're here on the island line. Uh, let us do this. Uh, race style, I guess. Uh, stick in a series parallel shunt, reverse of forwards, throttle full, unit selector for you, passenger, you off, and you off. Okay, make sure the brakes are completely released. Oh, that's on full application, not there. Uh, yeah. Well done, me. So yes, we see what we saw what it could do. So now we'll put it to the test on the island line, the uh, shortest line in the game, and also the uh, 
it's more pretty straight actually, so it should be a pretty easy run. Yes, look at this. And by God, this thing would just collapse straight through that pier. Without a doubt, that thing would not last two seconds up here. Um, they've also got to watch the, the turnout, the uh, points down here. Watch that we don't go the flying. Yeah, that's a very sensible speed. Now we can throttle all the way back up again. Whoa! God. Uh, the headlights aren't on. Why are my headlights not on? Headlight bright on. There you go. Look at that. Speed limit's still only 20, but that's not going to stop me. Only at 40 at the moment, but we're picking up revs, picking up amps. It's pretty inconsistent. What can you expect from an old loco? Big Bertha. I mean, they're big machines as well. I mean, they're not very long, but they're, you know, assume you pack all of this full of gadgety type things. I don't know. Don't build locomotives. Wow. Oh, there's even the Chevron on top. I personally made this livery really went to town. Hey, it's very nice though. Couldn't recommend more. Nice. Nice. Look, Ma. I put a massive big train on the uh, island line. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? But Ma, no hands. Yeah, not only would you probably call the police if someone did this, uh, I mean, more than the police, you'd probably want the uh, terrorism people to come round if someone put this thing on the island line. More importantly, doing this speed on the island line, we're not even clipping the third rail, look at that. And aside from uh, the tunnel and some of the low bridges at the beginning, there's not oh, actually that many... How many uh, problems with the... Uh, Another thing in me, Bobbity. Okay, there's 96, 97. Bloody hell. That's what a 1 in 70 grade does. 40 limit there. Have we gone past braiding yet? No, you haven't even gone past braid, have we? Must have. No, we haven't even gone through braiding yet. No. Oh, maybe we have, actually. No. We haven't. Uh, but I think we're coming up to it. Yeah, that's the 20 limit. Got 110. Jesus Christ. You know, I try to keep this as long as just as possible. Bloody hell, that's very fast. Let's watch those fans despawn. And then they load in and. Then they start spinning. Wow. Still going downhill. 116, 117. Bloody hell. One twenty? Come on, there it is. Bloody hell. One twenty-three. Oh, now we're slowing down because we're going uphill, really steep. Whew. This would beat the networkers any day. Bloody hell! There's a fifteen limit, but thank God we're not going. Wow! 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 <laughs> Just wow. Can we get to 125? Can we get to 200? Uh, 
Uh, can we get to 125? Can we get to 125? Ideally, also, I'd like to stop. Uh, no, we're not going to get to 125, are we? Downhill? 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 Have we gone through lake? Yes, we have. Okay, stop. Stop, 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 stop now. Stop. Stop now. Stop now. Yeah, brakes aren't so good. Hey. <laughs> and that's the end of our... Whoa! Whoa! That was a spectacular crash. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.